What's up everybody? Caleb from Scout IQ with my pal Bill Martling from SellBackYourBook.com. Little tip of the hat to Steve Rakin there. Guys, we're coming to you live from Scout IQ's headquarters here in lovely Denver, Colorado. Bill flew in from Chicago and we're going to give you a quick demo on how to complete your Sell Back Your Book shipment within Scout IQ. We're going to show you an A to Z, also stands for Amazon, but beginning to end, we're going to show you how to shovel your books toward Bill and their team. If you guys missed the announcement, we now show Sell Back Your Book data directly in our app. I'm going to show you exactly how that works in Scout IQ slash Scout IQ, these lovely letters, as well as how you can build that shipment. So without further ado, let's go. So you do need the recent version of the app. You need Scout IQ version 3.5.0 or greater. You can go into settings here. We'll show the screen up on your screen. You can see it right somewhere in here. But uh, you'll see it's 3.5.0 or higher. Scroll to the bottom of settings. You'll see a wholesale integration with Sell Back Your Book. Turn that on and wait for the magic to appear. I've got a barcode scanner here and a stack of books and we're gonna scan some books in and show you exactly what's going on. So again, this is great if you're looking to get quick cash for your books, if you're a bulk bookseller and need a way to monetize some duds, we'll turn your duds into studs. And by we, I mean they. Uh, if you also have some restricted books, they may be buying some of that or Book Scouter is another option there. CDs and DVDs also. Yeah, so you'll be able to get those and we'll have some audio triggers coming very, very shortly. So we've got Sell Back Your Book here. You can see the price there. If we sold this FBA, we'd make 336. Sell Back Your Book will give us 244 today. If you prefer to make that money, go ahead and add it to cart. Simply tap that box. You wanna make sure you're logged in as well. So up at the top, it says, hello, Caleb R, that's me. If it doesn't, it gives you the option to create an account or log in. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Simply hit close, move on to the next book, scan it in as well. And again, if you don't tap the Sell Back Your Book logo, nothing's gonna happen. You don't have to send it in. But just for the sake of this stack of books, we're gonna keep sending those in. You also need a minimum cart order of at least $7.50, which you can see here on the screen, and uh, we'll be good from that standpoint. So we'll keep going here. Scan another book, add it to the cart, good to go. Keep adding some, add it to the cart, good to go. So you can see our cart value is now over 750, so we'll go ahead and, and we can send that in. Here's a great example, I'd make a buck 60 if I sold this FBA. They're gonna pay me 231. I don't know how they do it, but we will take it. We're losing money to keep you happy. I, don't, I doubt that, they're probably making some money. We'll keep adding these in. Again, just hit that uh, green sell back your book logo. Oh, there's a book they're not buying. We'll set that aside. Don't send those in. And here's one that they are buying. So we'll go ahead and add that as well. So we've, here we've got our total cart value. We've got seven books that we're ready to go. We're gonna build a shipment. What you can do is you can review the cart and remove anything you have if you need to. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and complete the order. It's gonna generate a shipping label and a packing slip. Now, I'm not gonna finish this from mobile. It's gonna be hard to print that way. We're gonna grab a computer, print the, the uh, label, and we'll be right back in just a moment to show you how that works. And we're back. Hot off the press, we got two sheets of paper. Um, you get an email with a link to two things. One is the invoice the packing slip. So it's got a little barcode that I'm sure they scan when it shows up in Chicago. It's got the items and the total buyback price if you wanna make sure that you get paid properly. So this box is worth $38.08. And we did that in under three minutes. Like, it is easy money. Yep, so we scanned those in, we printed this out. We also printed free postage label. You can do USPS or FedEx, either one. Um, I've heard FedEx and UPS are gonna merge. They're gonna call the new company Fed Up. Whoa! <laughs> That's not a new one. This is gonna go on the outside of the box. We'll tape that there just a second. Packing slip goes inside. You can probably tuck it inside a book maybe mm -hmm. so it doesn't go too far. I've just got a random box. I think it's big enough. We'll tell you in a minute. We're gonna fill with the seven books. Oh yeah, we're good. Throw a little packing material in if we needed to. Close it up, get a tape gun, tape the label to the outside and drop it off at USPS or FedEx, whichever one it is. As soon as this shows up, you guys check it in within a day or two. Correct, you'll get an automated email saying, hey, your package has landed, it checked in, and then a uh, day or two, maybe three to process, depending on peak season, and then pay same day or next, again, depending on when it was processed. So, and lickety split, there you go, we pay via PayPal or check. 
But it's easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. We're going to turn your duds into studs. Actually, they will sell back your book with the Scout IQ integration. Thanks for watching. Go and find some books.